sweat-related body odor, manifests in essentially all individuals at some point during life. Excessively foul-smelling sweat is considered pathologic and termed bromidrosis, a term derived from the Greek bromos meaning stench and hydros meaning sweat. The degree of odor, considered bad enough for a diagnosis of bromidrosis, is not defined. Body odor is generally diagnosed when noticeable body odor has a negative effect on one's self-view, social interactions, or quality of life. Bromidrosis is presence of excessively foul-smelling sweat. The disorder is divided into apocrine and ecrine subtypes based upon the type of sweat gland involved. Pathogenesis. All sweat glands are controlled by the sympathetic nervous system. Primary stimuli include heat, exercise, and emotion. Other stimuli include certain foods, medications, and diseases. Sweat is usually odorless when secreted from the sweat gland. Bacterial degradation of secreted sweat or keratin is the primary mechanism leading to bromidrosis. Occasionally, other factors are involved. Apocrine bromidrosis occurs in sites like axilla, anogenital region, or breasts. Ecrine bromidrosis may be localized or generalized. The feet are common sites. Generalized ecrine bromidrosis results from ingestion of odor-promoting substances or systemic illness. Examples include diet like garlic, onion, curry, or alcohol ingestion, medications like penicillin, toxins like heavy metals, metabolic disorders like phenylketonuria, systemic disease like liver or renal failure, gout, scurvy, or typhoid. Differential diagnosis. Bromidrosis should be distinguished from neurologic or psychiatric conditions that cause the patient to believe offensive body odor is present though odor is not apparent to others. Examples include olfactory hallucinations due to schizophrenia, epilepsy, or central nervous system tumors, body dysmorphic disorder, olfactory reference syndrome or fear of exuding offensive body odor, a lack of noticeable odor on examination, an absent history of odor noticeable to others, and or a history of psychiatric disease or symptoms suggest the possibility of these disorders. The treatment of localized bromidrosis focuses on improving hygiene and reducing bacteria and sweating in the affected area. We suggest skin hygiene, absorbent clothing, and topical antiperspirants and deodorants as initial treatment. In addition, associated cutaneous diseases such as intertrigo, erythrasma, and pitted keratolysis should be treated. Antibiotic therapy may be added for patients with insufficient responses. Removal or destruction of apocrine glands through surgical excision, liposuction, and laser therapy can be effective for refractory localized bromidrosis. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to Diseases Simplified for more health tips and updates.